Hey everyone, it's the DJ Dr. San Diego and I uh, hope you're having a great Wednesday. So today we're going to be talking about how to connect an external monitor or an external screen in Serato Video. So the first thing that you want to do is in your Mac, go to System Preferences, click on Display, click on Arrangement, and you want to unclick this mirror display. So once you've done that, go ahead and exit out of that. All right, so if your computer does not have an HDMI port, you're gonna go ahead and use an HDMI to a Thunderbolt connection and connect it to your computer that way. All right, so now with our um, controller connected to the computer, we see at the top here, we've got Serato Video. I believe Serato, Serato Video cost um, $29 or so. So uh, if you plan on purchasing it, that's uh, how much it's gonna cost. Go ahead and click on video at the top and a little screen will pop up. If it doesn't, click this center button, double click if it goes full screen. And so most of the time when you hit that Serato, um, the video button, it, this screen will come up. And then so we're gonna go ahead and move it over to the left. And as you can see, it is moving back and forth. So I'll go ahead and show you the next video on it actually going to the next screen. All right, so for um, today's lesson, we're gonna be using the Vestax VCI 380. And this controller was really um, what helped me transition from um, turntables to um, Serato DJ uh, controller. So, um, so back to the videos we're using. Um, here you can see the external screen that we talked about. And if we click it and move it, we're gonna move it over, look over at our external screen. We can see that it's moved over. So down here, we're moving it back and forth and it's coming here. So what we wanna do is go ahead and click it over. And once it's completely over, you're gonna go ahead and you are going to double click it. And it's gonna be a full screen and that's pretty much what you do. All right, so now that we've got our external monitor connected, we're gonna go ahead and go over a few of the features that we have here. So the one thing that you will wanna do is make sure that your crossfader is connected so that when you transition from one side to the next, the videos change and you can do it from your controller. You don't have to do it from um, here where I'm using the mouse. I can just use the controller to do it or your mixer. And then if you see here, I'm gonna go ahead and move the up faders down on and up on the controller or mixer. And it'll also um, move on the computer because they are linked. And so you wanna do that so that when you're mixing the two songs, um, it's transitioning the video um, as you're mixing the music. So it kind of does it for you. So um, we do have the option here to add text. If you wanted to go and add text, you would uh, kind of click down this button here, go down, select DJ Doctor. And then you want it on left channel, master channel, or the right channel, and then turn on the screen, and uh, it'll come up on there. So um, that's one option that you have if you wanted to write your DJ name. Next, we have the option to choose an image if you wanted to go ahead and um, but if you have some images saved, you can just click them down here and then just click it. And then we hit on and it shows here the picture. So you don't want to use the picture while you're mixing videos, only if you're using um, music that doesn't have videos or a picture attached to it, because it'll go over the video. So I'm gonna turn that off. And uh, as you can see, I'm gonna turn, play both of the uh, videos and uh, I'm going to transition from one side to the next and you'll see that it'll blend the videos for you so you also have several other options here um, and I'll go over those in a second so and then here on the right side of on channel 2 you can go ahead and see that we have the um, effect that we can put on each individual channel and then kind of the degree to which you want it um, played and then the left side as well so um, so you are good to go go ahead and click on the left side on the um, 
little uh, where your media um, box is here. And you got all audio, all videos, click all videos and kind of go through your videos and select the appropriate one and go ahead and load it just like you would in the MP3, only it's gonna have these videos playing by so Hope this helps. Um, like I said, video, throughout a video is not quite my thing, but quite a few students asked me about it and so I'm making this video. Thanks.